Right, we're going to now change it up a little bit. We're going to subnet in the third octet, this being the third octet. Now, if you have a slash through 25 through a slash 30, you're subnetting in the fourth octet. That's where you're making your changes. Notice we're not using a slash 31 or slash 32 because we're losing two IP addresses. Those won't work. Now in the third octet, slash 17 through a slash 24. Anytime you see these CIDR notations, you're making the changes in the third octet, which happens to be right here. But go up by these numbers. That's why I've highlighted them. I always tell people that's my magic number, okay? So we look at a slash 24 and we go up by 1. Well, there is no sense in adding up 1 to get to 143. We already know that's what we're going to be using. So, let's go ahead and start out at 143. And obviously, I tell you, once you go into the third octet, this is always going to be a 0. Okay? Now, we're going to go up by 1. This isn't hard to figure out. Because where are you going up by 1? In the third octet octet. So when you go into the third octet, your next one's going to be 172.24.144.0. So we start out with a very simple one to make this process a little easier to understand. So third octet dot 143.0. What's the next network ID? Obviously, it is dot .144.0. So now we have a place to start. Let's just go ahead and start right here. And we know our network ID is dot zero. The first usable has to be one higher than the network ID. Remember, the entire fourth octet is still available. So for you to get 256 IP addresses, you have to use that entire fourth octet. And it's going to be dot one. Okay, now that we've established these two, let's go on to the broadcast. The broadcast has to be one less than the next network ID. Obviously, we know we gotta roll that odometer back, okay? We gotta go back to a 143. So, one less than that is dot .255. And obviously, your last usable is going to be one less than the broadcast, and it's going to be a dot .254. Network ID is even. Broadcast is odd. 256 IP addresses, 254 are usable. Now, when you start subnetting in the third octet, that fourth octet completely becomes available. The network ID in that will always end in a dot zero. The broadcast will end in a dot 255. Now we're going to move on to the next one, which makes it a little bit more difficult. And when you start to look at it, what I'd like you to do, if you kind of grasp this, let's just see, pause the video and see if you can work out the problem. So we'll get ready and we'll do the next one. Okay, here we're on Number two. In this one, we are trying to figure out what the IP address 167.88.9.143 with a CIDR notation of slash 22, what network it belongs to. So we're going to need to know the network ID, the first usable, broadcast, last usable. Okay? Now go up. Make sure that you pay attention to this highlighted yellow area. Slash 22 goes up by 4, but it goes up by 4 in the third octet. Always remember that. Whatever your CIDR notation falls within, that's where you make your changes, okay? So we know we're going to make the changes in the third octet. And we know we're going up by 4. So what are we going to start out with? Well, obviously we're going to start out with 167.88. Let's go with 0, .0. Okay, now we're going to go up in the third octet. We're going to go up by 4. So dot four, dot zero, And now you're at 167.88.4.0. Dot dot 
zero. Now, well, the nine does not fall between the zero and four. That's what we're looking for. So we're going to add another four. And now you're going to be at 167.88.8.0. Now we're still not where we need to be because that nine does not fall in there. So we're going to add another. And now we're at 167.88.12.0. Well, that third octet, what we're looking at is the 8 and the 12. The 9 does fall in there. So let's go ahead and set up our goal post here. Let's go dot eight, dot zero. Let's go outside of it because we're not allowed to use that. That's the next network ID. Okay. So let's go up here and let's start out with what we have. We already know we got 167.88.8.0 becomes our network ID. So our next one, our first usable, remember the entire fourth octet becomes available. You're getting 1,024 IP addresses, 1,022 are usable. Do not forget about that fourth octet. So it's dot eight dot one. That is definitely one higher than the network ID. Let's jump down here to the broadcast. Well, it's got to be less one less than that dot twelve dot zero because that's the next one. So we're going to roll that odometer backwards and we're going to go to dot eleven dot two fifty five. And obviously the next one is fairly simple because it's got to be one less than the broadcast, which is going to be dot eleven dot two fifty four. Your network ID is even, the broadcast is odd, you have a thousand and twenty four IP addresses, a thousand and twenty two are usable. Remember, when you're in that third octet subnetting, the fourth octet network ID will always be a dot zero. And the broadcast will always be a dot .255 in the fourth octet, where the primary changes take place is in the third octet. Hopefully this helps, and I'm going to start adding a few more of these type problems, both in a problem format and in a question format. If you like what you're seeing, please subscribe. What I'm trying to do is get enough people to start paying attention to this. Hopefully you share it out. Hopefully this helps people with their Cisco exam and their Network Plus exams. And thank you for viewing, and we'll be back shortly with another.